Hello to you from wherever you're watching me. I'm so excited to come your way once again with notes from my devotions. Today we are looking at Proverbs chapter 3 from verse 5 to 7. It's quite popular, but this is how I studied it in my devotion. And I'd like to share with you some of the commands, applications, rumor word, and promises I got from it. I know it's going to bless somebody. It's 3 verse 5 to 6. There's even a song on it. He says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him and He shall direct your path. 7. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. One of the things I would like to caution you is verses that you think you know of head and don't meditate on. But as I meditated on this, I got it was clear to me that Trusting in the Lord is a command with all your heart. It's a command. He's asking me to do it with all my heart. Which means I should put my confidence in God. I should not rely on my own understanding, my sensual understanding from all the things that are around me. Most of the knowledge and the understanding we get are from the things that, the perceptions and the senses that we have. But God wants us to grow in spiritual understanding in the knowledge of his will and he says that do not rely on that understanding that comes from your flesh because the things of god are not that simple and straightforward to understand they are descend spiritually now he says if you walk in the spirit then you will understand the will of god because the will of god is spiritually discerned so trust in the lord with all your heart then finally it also I think it's a sort of application or command. He says that run to God on every step. So make it a habit of going to God for every step. Not for every five steps when there's trouble, but every step. Just in all your ways. So you want to apply it in all your ways, not in some of the ways. And then he promises us, that's the promise, he will direct our path. Now, directing your path does not necessarily mean you get a clear direction, but watch it. He's directing your path. So sometimes a door will close here, a door will close there, and you're only left with something in front of you. He's directed your path into that place. You may not necessarily get a whole list of five things to do, just like you're in an airport. You may just go one turn, left turn, right turn, but you'll definitely get to your destination if you always acknowledge God in all your ways. Don't become too wise for yourself. Depend on God. He will show us the way. What a wonderful devotion there is. Stay blessed today and trust in the Lord with all your heart. He will direct you. Stay blessed.